Hello guys, so in today's video we are going to see a very very big recruitment opportunity from the Tech Mahindra. So there is a Pan India recruitment happening from Tech Mahindra and the recruitment is happening for cyber security. It is one of the current trends. We are going to see what is the requirement, what is the percentage needed, who all can apply. All those details we are going to see in this video. If you are interested in working with Tech Mahindra, please watch the video till the end and then if you are finding the videos useful, please consider subscribing. So let's see a Pan India recruitment opportunity from the very famous Tech Mahindra. So if you see this page, you can see this is the home page where you have to apply. There is two options available, engineering and MCA candidates, science and diploma candidates. For the science and diploma candidates, registration session is currently not open, means they are not hiring for that uh, roles right now. But for the engineering MCA uh, category, there is registration open. So that's why there is a click to register button. So we are right now on the fresh registration. If you have already registered, you can go to this. Uh, I think there is only few days left. So please make sure you apply here if you are eligible as soon as you see this video. Now, if you click on this, click here to register. It will take you to the instructions and the declaration for registration. So here you can see all the details like what is a requirement uh, and uh, all the details is there. Candidates must have acquired the qualifications uh, mentioned here are hereafter in these instructions as a regular scholar means if you have done like part-time uh, education or distance it's not uh, eligible you should have done it like full-time scholar and by the uh, that is from the universities that is recognized by AICT candidates have acquired the qualifications from a uh, non UGC approved they are also not eligible okay Academic eligibility criteria is candidates should have completed the course in 2023-2024 without any backlogs. Backlogs is not eligible. You should have minimum 70 percentage in 10, 12th engineering MCA. So engineering and MCA candidates are eligible in bracket of MCA they have and MSc. MSc is also eligible. MSc only cyber security. All the BB Tech uh, batches are eligible. And if you see this uh, requirement, you can see it clearly. So they have given eligibility is BB Tech and MCA, MSc, Cyber Security. Okay. So all the BB Tech is actually eligible here. So they have very clearly given this program is only for engineering graduates and or MCA and MSc, Cyber Security. Okay. And candidates who have passed in 2023, 2024 and have been issued provisional degree certificate or consolidated mark sheet by the university or college uh, that is 2023 and 2024 batches are eligible and this is not open to candidates who have passed the course prior to 2023 also MEMT candidates are not eligible here enter the academic scores in percentage only system recognizes percentage only in case of your academic score or rating is CGPA based which most of the co colleges are or most of the universities are giving in cgpas convert them into the equivalent percentage as per your university guidelines and then enter that percentage in the system details you provide for this registration is the essence of the application from uh, for the tribe as such incorrect details whether deliberately or inadvertently uh, provided by you will be held against you and may result in withdrawal of the offer letter that is you should give all the information with 100 percentage accuracy candidates meeting the eligibility criteria will be invited for virtual and proctored online test that is your uh, if you are eligible you will be called for the online test on successful registration registration id and pin will be sent your email id you must note them down because that is useful for all the other next next process or next steps in case you are already employed uh, the odds of getting NOC or clearance to appear for the test or getting the clearance exit to join Tech Mahindra is being offered as an employed is solely rest you. That is, you have to arrange the NOC and things to join the company. Any experience you may be acquired will not be recognized as such. In case you have appeared earlier for Tech Mahindra's fresh recruitment drive, in the last six months, you are not eligible. Means previously, if you have applied just in six months or in the last six months, it's uh, considered to be 
ineligible. Be careful while filling the details in the personal particulars and contacts and academic credentials uh, and other critical information. Once submitted, it cannot be amended or corrected. So they have to be filled with complete um, care. Okay. Candidates should be flexible enough and ready to work in agile environment on any type of projects, including Ship Tech Mahindra. Uh, limited is not uh, set in, will not set in any claim for reimbursement or any expenses, you know, while uh, you are giving, if you have to travel for the test or something, they won't reimburse anything. Post successful five stage evaluation, the onboarding process will be done. Uh, in phase wise manner as per business requirement so there will be like five stage evaluation so everything we have given in detail if you are interested you can fill up the form so you have to just click on this i have read the instructions carefully and i will adhere to the same and then click on continue then you can see the form here there is personal details there is graduation college name, university, engineering graduation, science graduation. If you have done diploma, then the details you have to give. And one more thing I want to mention here, I think we didn't mention that earlier. You, if you have done diploma plus engineering, then diploma also you need to have 70% each. Engineering, uh, what is your stream degree you have to mention? Okay, so that is all uh, details here. If you are interested in this, if you are from BB Tech or MCA or MSc Cybersecurity, you can apply here. So that's all for today's video. I'm really hoping that you found the content useful. If yes, please consider subscribing and share the videos with your friends. If any of your friends is eligible for this, please share the video with them. And thanks for watching and keep on watching.